We are back. This looks nice. We're it back sure on a Saturday does. morning, and Kristen, as you know, won't be long, of course, before you've got a little baby girl in your arms. Amazing. We're very excited for I you. I know. I can't wait. We're just days away from welcoming her, but I still have questions, and fortunately, <laughs> I was able to rely on a group of amazing moms, including my own, to get some last-minute insight. Mom, are you ready to become a grandmother? I am absolutely ready. What kind of grandma are you going to be? I will spoil, <laughs> I will treat, but mainly I can't wait until she gets old enough to go shopping. <laughs> Dylan, you are expecting your third. We're working our brain around the logistics of living in a New York City apartment with three boys, but you know, the excitement of, of meeting someone that no one has met. Laura, who's one of my oldest friends, knows what it's like to be the mom of a girl. She has two girls. Zoe is going into sixth grade. She is graduating from a cubby, we say, to a locker. She's going to have homeroom. I don't know if I would know how to be a mom to a girl. You would learn instantly. <laughs> <laughs> my girls are they are pretty mellow. I think what my husband and I are anticipating are all of the, the hormonal and all of the changes that'll come when they're teenagers. Julie, what exactly was Kristen like as a child? Was she mellow? <laughs> now, once I got a call from nursery school that Kristen had broken her leg because she was pretending to be Wonder Woman and jumped off a chair. No, so that shows you how active she was. What did you learn that, that you would pass along to my daughter? Well, I would just tell your daughter to be herself just as we wanted you to be yourself. Dylan, what are some of the lessons you've learned along the way? There's such an, a, a roller coaster of emotions that you're going to go through because at first it's like this sweet smelling, amazing little just bundle of, of love. And then after several nights of losing sleep, your mind starts to go crazy. You know, I would think, um, oh, she needs music. And then be like, oh wait, that's too much music. She needs some <laughs> movement. Oh, that's too much movement. And this like quest to find the perfect balance. When she slept through the night, I got up in the morning and panic set in. Do you ever have a moment like that where Zoe and Una slept through the night and you thought, what's going on? Oh, absolutely, except I was like, this is wonderful. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were becoming a mom yes. and the business world was not as supportive of working moms. Was that That's tough? Right. Yes, I didn't know it was tough because it just seemed very natural for us to be together. I just went to work with you. You just went yes, right I put her in it. her little basket, sat her on the desk and did real estate. You're an educator, Laura, in Hawaii and you have really passed along a love of education and reading to your two girls. I used to have books in the car and I used to read stories when they were eating. It really did kind of set this love of stories and reading into my girls and so when They'll be at the dinner table, they'll bring their books, and I'm like, hey, we're eating. When you first bring that baby home, and <laughs> you think, oh my goodness, I'm so worried. Dylan, what's the yeah. best advice? Can yeah. I answer that first? Yes, you Go can. ahead. The best <laughs> advice is to call your mom. <laughs> <laughs> You need your mom. You need, you Absolutely. know, you need the grandparents around because they know everything and you know nothing. But there's this moment of you just want it to be you and John and look at each other and say, we got this. You know, I'm actually gonna share some Julie Welker advice where she taught us, this too shall pass. And I think that's so true with children. The issue of this hour is gonna change to the issue of the next hour. Right. How do you preserve it, mom? Record it, you know, write it down, take photos. And again, the most important thing is to spend as much time with her. And I love you so much. I love you too, mom. And Bill and Laura, I love you guys, too. <laughs> Whew, so that's a little emotional to watch back. Dylan, such great advice. Thank you for being a part of that conversation. For what My it's mom worth. My loved it. Laura loved it. There's, there's also, I mean, no advice that you can honestly give to, to a new mom because you're, you're going to just figure it out yourself.
I know. Well, I've learned so much from you and you, Peter, a dad to the two most beautiful girls. You've got you've got two babysitters blocks away if you need us at any time <laughs> we are there. But honestly, as much preparation as you did for that debate about a year ago, <laughs> you are more than you could possibly pre prepare for this. We are so thrilled for you. We've been giving you as many pieces of advice and gifts as we can. So the gift I have as you depart today Another one? is less for the baby and more for you and John because it is the start <laughs> of summer and you guys entitled a little moment to celebrate Aww. yourselves. So a toast to you guys. Guys, oh, a little margarita you. cocktail cake. That is so sweet of you. We get one more margarita because yeah. <laughs> no more. The then day. it's game on. <laughs> exactly. It'll help you it get some sleep on. in the final days. I of want day. both of you to be prepared for lots of middle of the night phone calls for me, asking for yes. more advice. Text. You guys have just showered me in love. I'm so grateful. Text me anytime. And I also want to say you'll never have enough onesies or diapers. They'll they'll spit up. <laughs> you know they'll make a mess of all of them. But this one you might want to you might want to save to the side because oh, no. you don't really want to stay in this one just in case you're Dylan, missing Peter while you're gone. We'll I'm pinning that. that up on the nursery. We'll leave that one in the drawer I think for a little while. Don't appreciate that very much. Uh, we are we are psyched you for you. Guys. You are going to be love the world's you. greatest love mom. You. Love you guys. I'm going to miss you guys but I'll be back Mwah. in just a few months. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.